What's going on YouTube, Champion Productions here, and welcome back to another Transformers video review. And today I'm actually reviewing a custom painted figure. Today I am reviewing my custom painted Transformers The Last Night Deluxe Class Berserker. Now usually I would start off by taking a look at the packaging, but um, I don't have the packaging anymore. So we'll just dive right into looking at his accessories, which I have also custom painted. So, taking a look at his accessories, he comes with these two spike weapons, and they were originally casted in this gray plastic, and I have added a dry brushing silver effect to make them look worn. I made a darker tone of silver and gave it a dry brushed um, treatment, and it looks very good in my opinion. I really like the battle damaged and worn effect that it does have going on. See if I can get in a little bit closer. There we go. But there you have that. He just comes with two of those. And moving right along, here we have my custom TLK Berserker figure. And we never see Berserker actually transform in Transformers Last Night. We know that he was a Dread, and we know that he more likely had a Tahoe mode like all the other Dreads did in the Dark of the Moon movies. But again, we never see him transform. He gets like five seconds of screen time throughout the entire Transformers Last Night film. So, I took some creative liberties, and I added some paint to, uh, some silver highlights and whatnot to his Tahoe mode. Now, taking a look at the front here, we can see that the grill, I have painted it in a nice silver color. The uh, lights here on the bottom were molded in black, so I just painted them orange. And that's all I really did for the front section, but it looks so much better. And um, again, these were just, the grill was just painted in a black, or it was just done in a black plastic. And I didn't really like how that looked. It just sort of blend in. It didn't look all that good, so I painted it up. Coming around to the side here, there was a Decepticon symbol right here, but I actually rubbed it off using some rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip and a little bit of elbow grease came off, so that looks so much better in my opinion. Uh, the wheel rims have been painted with silver, and I really like how that looks. Um, it looks a lot better in my opinion. And then uh, the transformation hinge right here was all gray, and you can see where the paint is actually chipped for that, unfortunately, but it looks a lot better than just that entire hinge being gray. Um, and I did my best with the color matching, and I feel like it, it turned out really, really good, so I really like how that looks now. Coming around to the back here, I haven't really done too much. I just painted the license plate white, which I feel like is a lot better than what it originally was. It was just black, as you can see. Same thing on this side, removed the Decepticon symbol, painted the wheels and the wheel rims. Coming around to the top here, uh, the, uh, the light bars were all red, so I just painted it um, silver and added some separation in between the two light bars and I feel like that looks a lot better. So overall, I feel like the paint, while it's not a whole lot, it does add an incredible amount of detail and does make it look very nice in Tahoe mode. Now going over the transformation, it is exactly the same. Starting off with, we're gonna take the bumper and the grill section here and untab it, move it forward, and then take these panels here on the side and just untab them. Do that on both sides. That'll allow us to take the hood section and the windshield and move it up. Then come around to the back here and take the feet and untab these sections here. And now we'll untab the whole back section and allow us to rotate it up just like so. From here, we're just going to take this section here and fold it up just like so. Take the arms, untab them from the feet. Just do that both sides. Then, for this whole section here, we're going to take, there are two tab holes, my camera will focus, two tab holes here and here that I'll tab in here and right here. So, just tab that into place, I'll tab in, this section here will just lay over top of all that, and then you can pull the waist down and push it into place. Rotate the thighs forward and then take come around to the back here Take these panels if you haven't already and folded them down and then take the legs and bend them forward Like so and then take his heel fold them out Do that on both sides and then just bend the knees like so Take the arms fold them down on a hinge just like so take these spikes rotate them up and then you can rotate the arm around do that on this side Rotate around that spike, come around to the underside here, fold out his hands, 
or take those out and then take these sections here of the wheel well and then fold those up on both sides fold that up situate everything get them standing up get them organized and here we have berserker in his robot mode and berserker in his robot mode with the custom paint job looks so much better than what he originally did out of the box giving you a 360 look of the figure um, I really have just added some darker metallic paints to them, and uh, I've just added some highlights throughout the robot mode. But overall, he looks so much better than what he originally did out of the box. So let's get in and take a closer look at these paint details. Now going over the paint applications, starting at the feet, all I really did for the feet was add some silver and rubbed it off to get a worn effect, just to get it look like they were weathered, just to give it a more used and worn effect to the feet. The shins here, this whole section here, uh, it was casted in a lighter gray plastic, and I just mixed a silver and black combination and made a more of a darker uh, metallic color for his shins. Uh, the knees were naturally painted red. I like that, so that stayed. Um, getting the figure to stand. Moving our way up to the upper body here. His thighs, again, were painted in that uh, lighter gray plastic, so I repainted them, and I feel like that looks a lot better, a lot more metallic. His arms, they did have red paint on them, but I wanted to repaint the arms to have that darker color like this, so it matches uh, the rest of his arm. So I repainted that and then I added the red paint and the weathered effect And I feel like that looks really really good and turned out really nicely now the hands on this figure originally They were ugly Plain and simple. They were just ugly. They were casted in a gray plastic But then they added like an orangish reddish color it wasn't even the same color as the red that they used for the rest of the figure and it was just it start here at the fingers and then stopped just about here at the knuckles, it just stopped. It didn't fade, it didn't like, it just stopped. It was just red paint, stop. It did not look good, I didn't like it. So what I did for the hands is I repainted them in a darker gray and then I, I painted them in the same gray that I used for the arm and then I added some silver for a weathered effect and I really like how that turns out. Um, I feel like it definitely does give it a weathered and worn look. Now for his chest and upper body, uh, I repainted his whole torso section and gave him that metallic, um, that darker um, silver treatment for his chest and then I repainted the X on his chest and I feel like that looks extremely good and I also added the Energon ooze that's just all over him that we see when he is on the big screen. And I feel like that looks really good. I did that same thing for the spikes. And the spikes I just painted in the same kind of gray that I used for this. Uh, for the arm before I painted the red over it. And then I just added the green for the ooze effect. And his head, I haven't done anything different to the head except for the dreads. Uh, the dreads were cast in, in a gray plastic. But then I added some silver. And it just adds a lot more of a metal feel to the dreads and I also painted the back of his head like so but outside of that um there are no paint differences on the back except for what carry over from the uh his alt mode you can see the silver still on the wheel rims you got the uh silver on the grill you got the silver on his wheels but I mean outside of that it's just the uh uh, a lot of silver paint added to the robot mode so I'm really happy with all the paint applications and he looks so much better he can still hold his accessories, they just tab in to his hand like so. Just tapping both of his little spike weapons in. There we have these, so you can have him holding his spike weapons. And they, all, they don't look bad, uh, they really look good. But me personally, I like to just take them and have them stored on his back. Um, it's not the best uh, storage on a Transformer, but it definitely does hold uh, the connection. But, I mean, it's not the tightest thing. As you can see, that one just falls off. Um, outside of that, really, really cool looking figure now that I've got all the paint applied. The articulation of this figure is the exact same as the original Transformers of Last Night Berserker figure. Um, head is on a ball joint and a hinge at the ball joint so he can 
sort of look down and can look up a decent amount, not the best. Uh, head is on a ball joint again, so you can get side to side movement, um, which is all you really need to get them in some really cool poses. The arms on joints right here, so you can move them up to get some more movements. Uh, the shoulders all are on ball joints, so you can move them. Uh, the spikes are on ball joints as well, so you get some free movement there. He has a swivel right above the elbow, um, swivel, elbow bend, so you got articulation there. The uh, legs are on a ball joint, so you can kick forward pretty far and can't kick back too terribly far because of the backpack. Uh, he can sort of kick outward again, a little bit hindered by the kibble. Uh, thigh swivel and knee bend, and that's really it for this figure. But all that's all the articulation I really need to get this figure in some really cool poses. And I really am happy with how this custom turned out. It looks good. I really like the paint. He looks a lot more metallic, a lot more evil looking, and just is a lot more realistic and doesn't look like a toy. Overall, really am happy with the paint applications. So, that's my review of my custom painted Transformers of Last Night Berserker. Overall, I feel like the paint applications I have applied to this figure look so much better than what the original toy did. And overall, I feel like he has a much better looking robot mode. And the paint in his alt mode or his Tahoe mode look a lot better than what they originally did. There was not as much paint in the Tahoe mode and it kind of looked bland. So, the silver that I added on the wheels and on the grill and whatnot really help make it pop while he's in that mode. In robot mode, all the metallic silver help him look a little bit more realistic and not just like a toy. And I really just like how he looks in robot mode. He really looks just wicked looking and just evil and I really like that for Berserker because he was a bizarre and crazy character even though we only see him for five seconds in the film we can tell that he's just absolutely crazy in terms of what the paint applications do for the robot mode I feel like increase the looks of it so much and I really do like how it's turned out but guys, that's all for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If so, be sure to leave a like, comment what you think of the custom Berserker figure in the comment section below, and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from my channel. That's all for me, Champion Productions, signing off.